welcome back to the channel guys welcome back to the another video so over here this is the ios 26.1 rc update and i'm using it for a while now and i thought why not let's do a first impression let's do a review of like how the device is going on so far how is the performance is going on and how is the battery life is going on so far so in this video i'm going to share my first impressions of ios 26.1 rc update so this video will include battery life and also the performance so stay until the end so without any further delay let's get dive into this video definitely i will be starting with the battery level let me go into the battery section over here let the battery that's load here is a disclaimer it's just 24 hours almost 24 hours that i was 26 more rc is out and i was always takes a couple of days to get even better so this is these are not my final words so over here as you can see today i use my device for 83 percent as you can see and against the 83 percent i got almost seven hours of screen on time which is decent which is good i would say it is not a bad one for you know first 24 hours this is a good screen on time and during this time i use different applications that include youtube that include tiktok instagram geekbench whatsapp and some other applications as you can see now if you see i use youtube a lot over here as you can see it is more than two hours in fact it is 2 hours and 41 minutes which is insane and whenever it comes to youtube while you are playing videos like they consume a lot of battery life you know con watching content consumes a lot of battery life because screen is continuously on your audio is on your wi-fi is being used a lot of stuff is going on so that consumes a lot of battery life and i think this is a decent screen on time against that which is a good sign um, it feels a little bit better than the beta 4 honestly but if i compare this one with the beta 3 of 26.1 beta 3 beta 3 was really really good i love the beta 3 um beta 4 was not that good but you know it is a um, decent one if we talk about the performance there is something i really want to talk about now talking about the performance um i will get into the cpu benchmark i ran multiple tests by the way and this was the i think first test that i ran I got 3309 on a single core and 8524 on a multi core. Both scores are higher than the average one, as you can see. I ran the test again. This time I got a much better score 3407 on a single core and 8618 on a multi core. And both scores again are higher than the average one. These are good scores. These are definitely not the best one, but they are better than the previous beta, better than the beta 4. These scores again are better than the beta 4. This is beta 4 score, as you can see very bad scores but they are still lower than the beta 3 beta 3 scores was really good honestly if i show you the beta 3 scores multi-core was insane with a beta 3 so beta 3 was insane on scores with a multi-core but again they are better than beta 4 which is maybe a good sign um gpu benchmark if i talk about those i got it to 7702 which is decent one not the best one higher than the average one okay it's slightly lower than the beta 4 but it's fine um that is the decent one so overall in terms of the performance things are nice now here i want to talk about one important thing that happened on the ios 26.1 rc and it happened for the first time like i was i was i wasn't using my mobile my mobile was like on my bedside and i want to capture a quick video i grab my phone and i do this action button to open the camera and I tried to shoot the video and my phone stuck. Video stuck. Video was not running. I go, I went back and I did this again. Again, again the screen appears and it was stuck. It was not working properly. So this was weird thing that happened um, after installing the 26.1 RC update. I don't know why it happened. Maybe it was small glitch or something like that. But this is what happened and I hope Apple will fix this one and improve this one maybe in the official release so far this is everything decent battery life decent performance but definitely there is a room for improvement and i think there should be room for like there should be maybe another rc update maybe we get rc2 let's see well that's all from this very small short simple video and i hope to catch you guys in my next video until then take care peace out